Hello and welcome. This is my 2022 Marin Eldridge Grade 1. Now, this video is about my new fork, but first, I think a recap is in order. For modifications, I've added a set of Crank Brothers Stamp 1 pedals, size large, Uri lock on grips, which are my current favorite grips. I installed a set of Weinman XM280 wheels with Tektro 160mm brake discs and Entity Spiderbait tires. I installed a Transex dropper post and the bike came with Tektro M275 hydraulic disc brakes and it has the stock Shimano Alivio and Altus 9-speed drivetrain still. Now I recently replaced the stock SR Centaur XCM fork, which incidentally is a very good spring fork, with a RockShox Judy Silver TK Air Fork. I have been using this model on my Rock Hopper with great results. And best of all, I got this fork for no cost, that's right, $0.00, .00 using my credit card rewards points on Amazon. Now, the fork installation was pretty straightforward. But you know that old saying about measure twice, cut once? <laughs> well, I measured three times. The only glitch in the whole process was that the star-fangled nut went in crooked, even with use of a setting tool. So the top cap was off-center. Yes, it worked, but it annoyed me, and I knew it would always do so. So I pounded out the nut with a 12-inch ratchet extension, and I tried again using a spare nut. Second time, everything went perfectly. The fork came pressurized at 100 PSI. I added another 25 PSI, frankly since I'm not as thin and lithe as I once was. I can always tweak the pressure later if I need to. The fork has a remote lockout, which is useful for climbing, and it has a typical Schrader valve on the air chamber. On the bottom of the drive side leg, we find a rebound adjustment, and I have the unit set one click faster than the middle, just as a starting point. As for weight, the SR Centaur unit weighs 6.1 pounds, and the Rock Shocks unit weighs 4.3 pounds for a reduction of 1.8 pounds or 816.5 grams. I'm not a weight weenie, but hey, every little bit helps, right? Now this is where I apologize. I had planned to include some video of my first ride on this fork. Unfortunately, I forgot to put the micro SD card back in the camera. So in lieu of video, here are a couple of photos from my phone. I am pleased to report though that the fork worked perfectly. The trails that I rode included some very rooty sections, and the Judy Silver TK handled these routes as well as you might expect a RockShox fork to do so. It was a nice ride, and for a shakedown ride, for a new component, I can't complain. There were no issues. That's how I like it to go. If you enjoyed this video, there is a link to a playlist, lower left. There's also a link to another video, lower right. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate that. Goodbye, and have a wonderful day.